uh, helped the shepherd yet a means who was called Henry Scott. He was quite keen on dog trialling and I was uh, quite amazed by the control he had over his dogs because uh, anybody had seen before they could gather sheep in and, and dogs work fine but if the dog trial have got to stop immediately when you tell them and do their commands immediately whereas if you're just shepherding in general as long as they get them in I think that's all that you need and this sort of intrigued me and I started going to the trials with him and uh, Henry showed me how to trial you know to train them really up to trial standard and I had my first little bitch puppy I got from him and he helped me to train it and I started going to the trials that way. First time that I, I entered for a novice trial and the first time I went out there I was really, really nervous. Couldn't hardly even whistle. Legs was shaking before I went out to the post and could, couldn't hardly whistle. And made a right mess of the run and I vowed I would never go back out again. But Henry says, oh you well, this is we all felt like that the first time we were there. And, and by the next week we did a bit more training and I went out the next week and I was still very nervous but maybe just not as much and I had a wee bit better run and of course that would give you a bit more confidence and you just from then on you just kept going and I think I won my first trial maybe not that year but the next year after that I won all went and open and I can remember how pleased I was about that beating all these men that had been running for quite a few years. we would always had about four or five dogs at one time because he took two away with him in the morning. And he usually had another two in the afternoon. And he always had a young one coming up to replace an old one. They're like another two hands to you. If you, if you had a, a good dog, he was struggling. The collie dog was very important in shepherding. The, the basic commands for a dog, uh, you've got four basic commands You've got the stop, which is the first thing you have, must learn a dog to do is to lie down, otherwise you'll never get anywhere with them. And then your second one is to to bring the dog on, the come on whistle, and then you have one for the right hand, which is quay to me, and one for the left, which is come by. They are the four basic commands that you start with. This is the stop whistle, it's a long, drawn out whistle. And the one to come on, I just give two little short whistles. And the one if I want him to go right is... And to go left... But those are my commands, but every handler can have different ones, it doesn't matter but as long as you keep giving the dog the same command, it can be anything. You could tell the dog to stand up when it had to lie down if you wanted it to. It's just they go by the same, always saying the same sounds over and over again. Well, I like always like a good dog with plenty of power, one that could always move the sheep. If you're shepherding out in the hills and you can send your dog away f for sheep for half a mile and the dog might go for the sheep, and then if it hasn't got the power to bring the sheep to you, it's just a pure waste of time, and sheep find out very quickly if a dog has power or not. A weak dog will maybe come away for 20 or 30 yards, then it'll just stop and they can weigh the dog up and they just turn around and they just won't come, and it's just a pure waste of time. So I've never, anything that didn't have much power, I've just not, I haven't bothered with it at all. I've always bred from strongish bitches and, or strong dogs and, and kept strong, bold-looking pups. Half your training is by praise. If they do something right, you praise them. If you do something wrong, you sort of growl at them. You know, well, just let them know in some way that you're not pleased. When you start them off, you can generally tell how keen they're going to be, but there is exceptions. They're all different. Some bitches, I think, are inclined to start quicker than dogs, and they're easier learned than dogs. Dogs are inclined to be bolder and more headstrong. And some can start the first time you take them to sheep at two or three months, and some of them can be about a year old before they start, but I prefer them to start early. I always think that they'll, they'll make the best ones if, they, if it's there to start with, inbred in them to work. I think it comes out in them fairly quickly. I had a dog, uh, Moss. He was one of my favourites. I feel like that dog up there. He, he came here when I retired, and he died here. So I took him away up the Clifton Road and buried him up the water side. 
because he was there all his life. He was born up there in the hotel, just bury him up in Clifton. So, uh, he was one of the favourites. I used to always wear a bonnet for a cop. But if I went up the stair and put good clothes on, she would just lie and sleep. But if I put my hat on to go away to work, she was at the door before me. And she loved the land of her. Oh, she would want to water and fire to, to work for me. She was a game dog. <laughs>